Hey everybody, it's Spicy Guy. Today I want to talk to you about Tatiana Jefferson. Remember her? When was the last time you said her name? Well, here's her story. Tatiana Coquis Jefferson was just 28 years old when she was pistoled down by Fort Worth, Texas police officer Aaron Dean inside her own home. In the early morning hours of October 12, 2019, a non-emergency call was made to 911 by a concerned neighbor. The caller told authorities that he was worried because his neighbor's front door had been open since about 10 o'clock the previous night, which was very unusual, he told the dispatcher. Fort Worth Police Operator M873, what's the address? I'm calling about my neighbor. Okay, what's the address? 1203 East Allen Avenue. Okay, 1203 East Allen Avenue. What's going on there? Well, the front doors have been open since 10 o'clock. I haven't seen anybody moving around. It's not normal for them to have folks. Both of the doors open this time of night. Okay, you know if anyone is inside? No, I'm not sure. Both of the calls are there. Okay, bear with me. Okay, mm -hmm. they're in the driveway. Almost the cars in the driveway, yes. Okay, can you give me a description, like a color of the vehicles? Well, one's white and one's black. Blue. The white one is the sedan or a CV? I think I have the little, the little, the little uh, sedan. Okay. And what's your name? James Smith. And what's your telephone number? Hey, one seven. Okay. And um, um, are they usually home at this time? Uh, they're usually home, but they never had both of the front doors open. Okay. We have lights on, like I can see straight through the house. Well, my sister woke me up. She stays across the street, and then I live on the opposite side of my sister. Okay, and the address that you gave me, 1203, that's their address, correct? Yes. Okay. Well, I'll have an officer come by. They're already in dispatch now, okay? Okay, I appreciate it. I mean, there's not normal for them to have both the doors open this late for that long. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye-bye. Tatiana was a pre-med graduate of Xavier University of Louisiana. She spent some of her at-home downtime playing video games with her nephew. This particular night was no different. On the night of the fatal incident, Aaron Dean's body camera footage shows him walking the outside perimeter, perimeter of the home with his flashlight. This goes on for a few minutes before he is heard yelling, put your hands up, show me your hands, while firing the pistol at the same time through a window of the home. Show me 
Although police found a handheld pistol near Atiana's body, her eight-year-old nephew, who witnessed the entire incident, insists his aunt was not pointing toward the window when the shot took her down. It appears she has stopped playing video games with the nephew to investigate the figure and the flashlight creeping around her home in her yard. The neighbor who called was distraught after the incident. After all, he was simply asking for a welfare check. He never said he saw any danger. All he wanted was for someone to come out and check on his neighbor. The next thing he knew, his call had led to a white cop coming into his black neighborhood and murking his young black neighbor. All he wanted was to keep her safe, and now she was gone forever. We've got a lot to dive into, but first, can you imagine the guilt that neighbor feels for calling police to Jefferson Sully? He, he saw an open door and did what we're supposed to do when we think something's not right. But when the officers arrived, things went so very wrong. Here's Rebecca Lopez. And they go open the gate. James Smith never thought a simple call to police to check on his neighbor would lead to this. Put your hands up. Show me your hands. I'm devastated because... People say, well, James, it's not your fault. You're not your fault. <laughs> but I made a call. I made the call because I thought that they were going to do what I called them to do. Check on my name. And they didn't do that. He says he was sitting on his porch around 2 a.m. Saturday when he saw his neighbor's doors open, which is unusual. Initially, he says he crossed the street and got to the driveway. And I noticed all the lights were on, it was bright, and I didn't hear anything, didn't see anything. And because I don't have any weapon, I don't know who's in there, if anybody's in there. And I thought best to go call the police. So he called and waited for a squad car and planned to talk to officers when they got there. But he says it happened so quickly. And when it was over, his 28-year-old neighbor, Atatiana Jefferson, was dead. This is the most tragic thing in my life. Most tragic thing in my life. And there's no, there's no erasing that. It can't be erased. He's lived on the same street for 50 years and says he's always watched out for his neighbors. He says some people have criticized him for calling police, but he says he thought he was doing the right thing. I've prayed and I've cried. And I've prayed and I cried, not to quote a song, but I've done that. So now I have to add, I prayed, I cried, and now I'm going to fight. So I'm, 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 I'm ready. He says he now is going to fight for justice and change, so this never happens again. Two days later, on October 14, 2019, the trigger puller, former officer Aaron Dean, formally resigned from the Fort Worth Police Department. He was also charged with taking Atiana's breath that day. Dean was indicted over two months later on December 20th, 2019. Because the cop was white and she was black, many compared her fatality to that of Botham Jean, who was taken by an off-duty cop in Dallas, Texas in September 2018 in his own apartment. During the trial, Dean testified that he fired into the home because a Tatiana Jefferson pointed a pistol at him, stating, as I started to get that second phrase out, show me your hands, I saw a silhouette, the former officer said. I was looking right down the barrel of a pistol. And when I saw the barrel of that thing pointed at me, I fired a single shot from my duty weapon. But the police cam video clearly shows that the gun was not in Tatiana's hands. Therefore, the jury had to take what they saw at face value and declare his testimony to be lies. Her nephew also testified that she was not holding the pistol. CNN reported, the prosecution's first witness was Zion Carr, who was eight years old and in the bedroom with his aunt Tay when she was taken. Now 11, the boy testified they had accidentally burned hamburgers earlier in the night, so they opened the doors to air the smoke out of the house. He and his aunt were up late playing video games when Jefferson heard a noise outside. And she then went to her purse to get her pistol, he testified. He did not see her raise her toward the window, he told the jury. Zion said he did not hear or see anything outside the window, but he saw his aunt fall to the ground and start crying. I was thinking, is it a dream, he testified. She was crying and just shaking. 
former officer Dean couldn't get a break on this one. Even his partner didn't have his back when she was called to testify, telling the jury she had her back to the window when Dean began to yell out commands for Jefferson to put her hands up, she testified. Dart said she started to run around, heard a shot, then looked over Dean's shoulder and could see a face in the window with eyes as big as saucers. She testified she did not see Jefferson holding a pistol and didn't recall Dean ever saying Jefferson had one. On December 15, 2022, Aaron Dean was found guilty of the lesser charge of manslaughter. He was sentenced to 11 years, 10 months, and 12 days in the Texas state prison system. Tatiana Jefferson was a bright, vibrant light. See, Aaron Dean, what you thought when you shot our baby through her heart was that you were going to put her light out. But I'm here to tell you that a Tatiana was that light that refuses to die. I pity your ignorance. You do not know enough to be ashamed. You went into an American citizen's home because their doors were open and you shot a black woman to death in front of an eight-year-old child. It took them 13 hours to decide on a sentence that could have ranged anywhere from two to 20 years for the crime of manslaughter. And when their verdict was read in court, it was obvious they'd handed down not just a sentence, but also a message, a very irregular sentence term of 11 years, 10 months, and 12 days for Aaron Dean. The 10 months and 12 days correlating with October 12th, the day Tatiana Jefferson was killed in 2019. The same jury convicted Dean of manslaughter last week, the first time a Tarrant County jury has ever convicted a former police officer for an on-duty shooting. I guess the question is, is are we happy? Um, we knew it was murder, you know, so anything other than that, you know, it's a, it's part of a relief, but is it over? No. Is this fight over? No. Um, as Lee said, we do plan on moving forward with federal, trying to push federal charges. The family and supporters are quick to point out the history of this moment. It's the first conviction of an on-duty Fort Worth police officer for the death of a citizen. And as Ashley Carr, Tatiana's sister, mentioned there, the family will now focus on possible federal charges against Aaron Dean and also a civil suit against the city. On December 21st, 2022, Aaron Dean was officially carted off to the Texas Department of Criminal Justice in Huntsville for diagnostics and classification. Two days later, on December 23rd, he was transferred to a permanent housing facility at WF Ramsey Unit in Rocheron, Texas. Rest in peace, Atiana Jefferson. Please remember to say her name.